Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to start another class here um, soon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining the class. It's nice to have you. One more time. Let me show you here on the screen as you. We're going to have class number seven. We're still working with section number three. And today's topic is going to be about ordering a meal. How many meals do we have in a day? Mm -hmm. Anna Isela. Okay, Anna. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to hear about you. Sorry to hear about that thing that is your habit. Okay. So how many meals do we have in a day? Mm -hmm. What are meals? Three times. Oh, yes, we have three, right? What are those, Marvin? Excuse me? What are those? What are those meals that we have? Uh, breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. and yes. dinner. And dinner, right? Sometimes if we want to save money, we can skip breakfast, right? And we can just have lunch and dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's go true. to eat in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, right. Sometimes we save money so we don't have breakfast. Okay. Just a cup of coffee with a big semita alta, right? And then we can have lunch. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. Okay. Are you working, Roberto Carlos? Yes. Yes, right. I think I see you. I think you're working. Yes, teacher. I am driver. Oh. I'm sorry Hello. to hear about it. It's nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so let's begin with the content that we have for today. Yay. Here we go. The first thing we're going to work is vocabulary. We have these food categories. We have some vocabulary Good here. Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you. We have this vocabulary here. Look at this vocabulary here. Okay. Here we have some vocabulary. And also, and also, here we have the categories. Catherine Nicole. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Good evening. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Hello, Catherine. Oh, I'm sorry. I think she's... Okay, what about Catherine Suleima Pocasangre? Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Good Do evening. A, nice to have you. Do me a favor. Read the vocabulary and read the categories, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, bread, chicken, corn, fish, grapes, lamb, mangoes, octopus, pasta, Peas, potatoes, rice, shrimp, uh, strawberries, turkey, turkey. And the categories are fruit, vegetables, grains, meat, and seafood. Perfect. Great pronunciation as well. Great job. Everything you're doing when it comes to practicing English, Catherine, keep doing it because you're working very well. Okay, so we're going to have the information in these categories, right? Let's begin with Irma Suleima. Fruit. Tell me, what's the fruit that goes here? Okay. Okay, mangoes, vegetables, oh. and, and mangoes, fruits. Mangoes, okay. Mangoes, uh, strawberry. A strawberry, very good. Um, grape. Oh, grapes, very good. What is another? What is another kind of fruit that you know? Mm, pineapple. Uh -huh, okay, pineapple, very good. What is your favorite fruit? Watermelon. Watermelon. Okay. That is correct. Watermelon. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. 
Very good. Um, let me see. Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice Hi, to teacher. have you. With vegetables, please. Tell me the vocabulary that goes here with vegetables. Mm, potatoes. Okay, potatoes. Very good. Corn. Corn, okay. Mm, I don't know. That's okay, no problem. Okay, Marvin, can you help okay. her, please? Yes, of course. Let me see. I don't know. What is peace, teacher? Very good. Peace. These things are not very popular here in El Salvador. Grandmas, they usually eat them. Or some people that cook, that love cooking, they usually add this ingredient in some, in some food. Okay. This, I think, alberjas, I guess that's the name of this thing. Right? Yes, I think that's the name of this one. Okay. That's the way they call it. Oh, okay. It's like a hotel, right? Uh huh. Something like that. Yes, something like that. Very good, Marvin. Andrea, tell me another vegetable, Andrea, that you know, please. Uh, onion. Onion. What is your favorite vegetable, Andrea? Mm, potatoes. Oh, French potatoes, fries. right? Yes, potatoes. Okay. Papas chucas, that's the way people call them, right? Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Very good. Okay, we're going to have another one, which is grains. Oh, look at this one. Uh, Gerardo, hello, Gerardo. Can you participate? Yes, of course, teacher. Perfect. With grains. Tell me the vocabulary that goes with grains. <clears throat> And let me see. The rice, I don't know. Rice, that is correct. Continue. Uh, beans. Excuse me? Beans. 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 Oh, yes. Beans is not here, but let's have it, right? Very good. What about here from this vocabulary? What else we have from this vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Corn? No. Uh, corn? No, corn is like a lot de loco, so that's why we have it here in a vegetable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. What else? So, uh, so, wheat. Excuse me. The wheat. Wheat. Oh, this one, fish. Or peas. Do you need help? Do you need help? Pasta. Pasta. Oh, oh, that is correct. Very good. Pasta. That's good. Very good. What else? Lamb. Lamb. Oh, lamb. Lamb is an animal or is a vegetable or uh, is like grains? Seafood. Meat. meat. Yes, it's meat. Right, very good. Mm -hmm. So lamb, lamb, usually we have it here. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, sweet bay. Lamb. It's not lamb. But, but... Bread? Oh, bread. Bread. Oh, bread, very good, right? 
pound francés, right? A dollar of pound francés. Very good. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Very good. Thank you. Um, Jose Edgardo. Hello, Jose. Turkey, Turk. Hello. Oh, Turkey. Very good. Thank you. Turkey, right? Mire, it's coming. Christmas is coming, so you can get your turkey, right? Turkey, Turk, Lang. Uh huh. What else? Just that one? What about with seafood? What do we have with seafood? Pork. Excuse me? Pork. Oh, P -O -R. like. Pork. Okay, so P -O -R -K. this. Pork. With meat or seafood? Meat, meat, carne de cerdo. Oh, yes, very good. Pork, right? Pork. Like this one. Pork. Very good. And what else? What else goes with meat? Chicken. Just meat. Oh, yes. Chicken. Very good. Chicken, right? Yes. Everybody loves Kajina India, Fish. right? Fish. Pescado. Oh, oh yes. Chicken. Oh, geez. Give me a minute. Chicken. Oh, fish. We got a seafood. We have a fish. Okay. What else? Mm-hmm. What? Octopus, right? We have la mariscada already, right? My very good. Octopus. And shrimp. Shrimp. Very good. So we have shrimp, right? Yeah, these things are expensive. Shrimp. Okay. So oh, very good. Thank you so much. So we have fruit, vegetables, grains, and meat, and seafood. Okay. We're going to have this vocabulary for the following conversation. Let's listen and watch. The first thing that we're going to have is this picture. Sebastiana Guadalupe, good evening. Please describe the picture. Okay, that is correct. Thank you so much, Sebastiana. Very good. Thank you so much. What else you can say about the picture, Kathy? Um, good evening. I think she's ordering something from the menu. From the menu. Very good. How do you call this profession, Kathy? Uh, waiter. Or our server. That's that's correct. And what about this one? What how do you call this kind of people that goes to a, a business? A client. A client or a customer. A customer, right? Just remember that a client is a little bit sophisticated. That means that this person, I don't know, is is there with the with the with the with the, with the store or with the business. And a customer is usually one person that goes to the store once in a while and just that, okay? Pretty good. Can you please read the menu that we have here, Kathy? Um, it's the, the one that says today's special. Yes, that's the menu. Top of today, chicken, curry, and mango salad. Veggie burger with soap or salad, red bean, chili, and chip. Thank you. Repeat. Soup. Soup. Exactly. Soup. Very good. Thank you. Correct. We have the expression, may I tell you order? We're going to have this conversation. I want you to listen and read. Page 88. Page 88. Exercise 6. Conversation. May I take your order? Part A. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. 
All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Page 88, Exercise 6, Conversation. May I take your order? Part A, Listen and Practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Page 88, Exercise 6, Conversation. May I take your order? Part A, Listen and Practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a lemonade, please. Thank you so much for listening. What is this conversation about? Okay. Um, let's work with you, Gerardo. Tell me, please, what is this conversation about? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, you should. <clears throat> me. Can you participate? Yes, of course. Oh, perfect. Tell me. Tell me, what is this conversation about? Uh, this conversation is about a customer between server. Uh, the server. <clears throat> the server has a take the order from the customer. Mm-hmm. And what is the food that she's ordering here? Uh, well, uh, the soup of today is chicken soup, but uh, but uh, the customer the customer uh, how do you say feed in English teacher? Oh, um, like order. Uh, the customer order to to sub off the day and with the drink drink a uh, lemonade a lemonade very good uh, did did she order a a veggie burger uh, no no she Like, did, did she order a veggie burger? Give me a second. That's okay. Take your time. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yes, teacher. Yes, here we have veggie burger, right? Okay. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, let me check the chat really quick. Ana Isela, thank you so much for joining. Okay, thank you so much. Also, Francisco, thank you so much for letting me know. Jose Edgardo, thank you so much. Okay, I'm I'm sorry about it, and I hope you can fix that. Okay, yes, right. This is a conversation. It's about ordering food in a restaurant. We have a customer and a server here, um, and these are the expressions that we use when we want to order food, and also. Um, the questions that a server usually asks when you go into a restaurant. We're going to have some practice in here. That's why we're going to have Sebastiana. You're going to be the server. Kathy, uh, you are going to be the customer. When you finish, you switch roles. Ready? Let's begin. Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger.
what's the soup of the day? I will have the onion soup, please. Yes, I like a lemonade, please. May I take your order? All right, and would you like soup or salad with your burger? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. And would you like anything to drink? Thank you so much, perfect. Thank you so much, the two of you. That was very good, yes. Thank you so much. Very good. Gerardo, thank you. You are the server, Gerardo. Ana Zuleima, you are the customer. And then you switch roles. Ready? Let's begin. May I take your order? It's me, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Irma Zuleima. I apologize. I forgot. Sorry. Yes, please. I like the baby burger. All right. And could you like sup or salad with your burger? What the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. Uh, we also have cream of potato soup, uh, soup and onion soup. I have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a uh, lemonade, please. And you start. Irma. Thank you, Irma. You begin, please. Yes, I like a lemonade. No, Irma, I'm sorry. You are the server, okay? Oh, perdón. That's okay. No problem. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'll, I'd like the bigger burger. All right. Uh, would you like soup or salad with the burger? What is soup of the day? It's a chicken soup. We all have cream or potato soup and onion soup. I have the onion soup, please. Ah, uh, would well, you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like lemonade, please. Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Catherine Suleima? Yes. You are going to be the server. Catherine Nicole Salazar? Yes, teacher. You are the customer, and then you change roles. Ready? Let's begin. May I take your order? Yes, please. I like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a lemonade, please. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the biggie burger. All right. And will you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And will you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like um, a lemonade, please. Thank you so much. Very good. Diana Cristabel Melendez. I am here. You're going to be the server. And uh, Andrea Esmeralda Flores, you're going to be the customer. And then you change roles. Ready? Let's begin. May I take your order? 
Excuse me, teacher. Uh, wait a minute. May I take your order? Okay. Okay. Yes, please. I like the veggie burger. All right. I will you like soup or also salad with your burger. What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have a cream of potato of soup and onion soup. I will have the onion soup, please. I will you like anything to drink? Yes, I would like a lemonade, please. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, please. I like the veggie burger. All right. Uh, would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup on onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a lemon, please. A lemonade, very good. Lemonade. Thank you so much. Marvin, you're gonna be the server. Um, Jose Edgardo. Let me see. I think, I think, oh no, he's busy. I'm sorry, I forgot. Thank you so much for letting me know. Anna, uh, Ruth Perez, Anna Ruth Perez. Okay, can, can you participate, Anna Ruth? No? Okay. Let me get, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, Anna, thank you so much, no problem. Lo hago yo. Uh, oh, yes, please. Thank you. With Marvin. La cámara okay. sí no la puedo encender porque estoy con mi niño, así que... Oh, that's bueno, okay. Sí puedo no okay. problem. No problem. Thank you. Okay. So, I, I am server. Yes. My, my, I take your order. Yes, please. I would like the bigger burger. All right. I'm going to like suit or salad with your burger. What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We add healthy or potato soup and onion soup. I have the onion soup, please. And what you like anything to drink? Yes, I would like a lemonade, please. Or the change the rule. May I have, I'm sorry, may I have to take your order? Yes, please. I like the PG burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We have grain of potato soup and onion soup. Will you have the onion soup, please? And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a lemon, lemonade, please. Okay, thank you so much. I will play the audio one more time so you can listen and check pronunciation again. Here we go. Page 88, exercise six, conversation. May I take your order? Part A. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, please. I'd like the veggie burger. All right. And would you like soup or salad with your burger? What's the soup of the day? It's chicken soup. We also have cream of potato soup and onion soup. I'll have the onion soup, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes. I'd like a lemonade, please. Thank you so much. I will take the attempts. Just give me a minute. Yes. Solo recordarles igual los exercises, pues 
de la plataforma, right? Si tiene algún inconveniente with alguno o tiene alguna dificultad, puede escribirla en el chat o WhatsApp. Yes, so we can help you on that one. Ana Isela Janes Ángel. Thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome. And I'm sorry to hear that you're not feeling well. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm sorry that you don't have a microphone. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. And Andrea Esmeralda yes, Flores. Teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Francisco Valdomar López Martínez. Thank you so much for being here, Francisco. Gerardo José Pre Tepa Pre Sánchez. Speaker. Thank I'm you, Francisco. Francisco Valdomar. Thank you, Francisco. Gerardo. I'm here, teacher. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. José Edgardo Méndez Miranda. I think José is here, right? But you're you're like having an issue, right? Jose, yes. Oh, oh no. Okay, here, let me see. Yes, Jose is here. Thank you so much, Jose. Catherine Suleima Pocasangre Escobar. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, it's nice to have you. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Marvin Alejandro Landa Verde Arias. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Hello, Oscar. Are you here? Let me see if Oscar is here. No, he isn't. Oh, he's not here. Uh, Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto, you're here, right? Thank you so much. Present. And Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm going to show you right now the video about the grammar part where we have this thing. But before we do that, I have a listening that I need you to check. Okay, this one here. Ana, thank you. And Jose Edgardo, thank you so much. I have this audio. So I need you to listen to the audio so you can answer the question. What does he order? This audio is about another customer. So another customer goes into a restaurant and order food. So let's listen and find out. Page 88, exercise six, part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does he order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like the chicken curry, please. Would you like today's special chicken curry and mango salad? Yes, I'll have the curry and salad, please. Okay, anything to drink? Yeah, I'll have a large orange juice, please. And how about some dessert? We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No dessert for me, thanks. Page 88. Exercise 6. Part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does he order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like the chicken curry, please. Would you like today's special chicken curry and mango salad? Yes, I'll have the curry and salad, please. Okay, anything to drink? Yeah, I'll have a large orange juice, please. And how about some dessert? We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No dessert for me, thanks. Page 88, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does he order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like the chicken curry, please. Would you like today's special chicken curry and mango salad? Yes, I'll have the curry and salad, please. Okay, anything to drink? Yeah, I'll have a large orange juice, please. And how about some dessert? 
We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No dessert for me, thanks. Okay, so question: What does he order? Anybody? Anybody? Chicken Korean salad. Oh, the special, right? Chicken Korean salad. And what about like um something he drink? What was the drink? Allergic orange juice. Oh, yes, right. Healthy, right? It's delicious and nutritious. And what about a dessert? Mm -hmm. No dessert. dessert for him. Exactly. So he's like on a diet. So that means no sugar for him, right? <laughs> Very good. That sounds good, right? And that's difficult, yes? When we have a bunch of pastry, right? With a big semita alta. Oh, that is difficult. It's difficult to avoid, yes? Ojitas. Do you like ojitas, Marvin? Yeah, that pastry that is popular. Yeah, it's my favorite. Oh, that that's delicious. But those things are just sugar, right? Uh, yeah, bunch, you're right. A, that is I mean, only the problem. Yes, right. If you want to drink a coffee, don't use sugar. Just add ojitas and you can have it, right? So. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> delicious, but not nutritious. Okay, very good. Hey, Jay. Uh, we're going to have the video about the grammar part. Let's listen and watch, and then we will uh, discuss this thing. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they're being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like, plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using wood. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? So let's begin with the explanation of this grammar content. My, this one is somehow is easy, but it's somehow confused. These two are modal verbs. Would and will. Yes. As you may know, here we have some questions. And these ones are requests. 
Okay, so this thing I request. When we go to a restaurant, sometimes people ask to us, would you like? What would you like? What kind of soup would you like? What would you like to drink? Would you like anything else? Yes. This one is like when we go to a restaurant, right? Sometimes um, a waitress or a waiter or a server ask us uh, this information. And, and we, as customer, we request, okay? We request as customers. Yes? That's what we do. We have two options to do it. One is with would, like this one, contraction, I'd like the veggie burger. I'd like the veggie burger. Or you can say with will, I'll have a mango salad. I'd like onion soup, please. I'll have the soup of the day. I'd like a lemonade. I'll have a large orange juice. Yes, please. I'd like some coffee. That's all, thanks. So these things are requests, all of this, right? And we can use would or will when it comes saying a request. There is one also important thing, if you notice, when I have would, I would, siempre va a ir el verbo like. Yes, so I'd like, I'd like, I'd like. And, and when I have will, like this one, I'll, siempre va a ir el verb have. I'll have, I'll have, okay? Use contraction, use contraction when it's possible so you can improve. Esta pronunciation here is un poquito difficult, right? Because... Usually, mire, aquí tenemos, espérame, lo voy a poner, give me a minute, sorry. Page 89. Exercise 7. Grammar focus. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the veggie burger. I'll have a mango salad. What kind of soup would you like? I'd like onion soup, please. I'll have the soup of the day. What would you like to drink? I'd like a lemonade. I'll have a large orange juice. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some coffee. That's all. Thanks. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. With the contraction, I'll, I'd. Este es el más difícil de los dos, right? But this one, the key is like, la lengua le va para el cielo de la boca cuando lo pronuncia al final. I'd, I'd, I'd like a lemonade. I'd like onion soup. I'd like veggie burger. Yes, right. Ahora, you can say also, I would, I will. You can say that's normal, right? Pero en la mayoría de casos, cuando tenemos this one, vamos con contraction. I'll, I'd. Yeah. Sometimes esta pronunciation apenitas is there, right? It's minimum, but it's there. I'd, I'd like. And don't forget, cuando tengo esta contraction, esto I would, I have the verb like after that. And when I use I'll or I will, I have the verb have. And don't confuse, right? Would like means want. 
Okay, so want. And I'll have when ordering in a restaurant means I will have. Yes, see, I will have. That is the meaning of this one. Okay, I will have. This is when it comes ordering food. Remember that in some cases, will is about future. So uh, just be careful with that one and don't get confused on this one, okay? Yeah, any question about this? Only I have, go ahead, Jose. Oh, excuse me, Marvin, <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> yes. Only I have a little bit question about the I will. Uh -huh. In Spanish, will be like uh, nosotros tendremos something like that. For example, let me see. I will have the soup of the day. Nosotros tendremos la sopa o tendremos o tenemos sopa del día. Like, si, si usted como customer lo está ordenando o, o usted como server. Porque, bueno, yo tengo entendido que I will se usa en the future, right? Uh -huh. Sería right. como, por ejemplo, digamos, el customer, por ejemplo, en el, let me see, en el primero ejemplo que dice, what would you like? En de donde dice, I will have a mango salad. Uh -huh. Sería como... Tendremos ensalada de mango. Oh, en, en el context here, uh, it, this is a, a suggestion para una traducción, right? Cuando lo tra traduzca al Spanish, eh, tiene que darle la traducción, pues, according al context, right? Por ejemplo, en Spanish, cuando usted va a un restaurante y pide pupusas, right? Usted puede decir, I'll have three revueltas and uh, dos de queso. Let's say. Entonces, en español digo, eh, pues yo voy a querer um, dos revueltas y dos de queso. Yep. Mm, I right, understand. so, so, <laughs> see? See? Just simple yes. like that. Exactly. Sí, no trate de traducirlo literal, right? one by one. Sino que solo, um, see? Right, so, tenle la traducción así, like, the normal. Yes, in English, right, we can have these two options, right? I'll have a mango salad. I'd like the veggie burger. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Uh, that's okay. No problem. Yes. Um. So something, somebody, somebody has another question. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, so when you go to New York, right, and you're like in a restaurant, right, then the, the, the server will come to you and will tell you, uh, are you ready to order? Oh, yes. I'll have, you know, I have, I don't know, a pizza. I like, I don't know, um, the chili hot dog, right, let's say. Yes, so you can practice like this. We're going to have some exercises. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Page eight. We're going to have would, I'd, or I'll. We're going to complete this conversation. Would you like to order now? Yes. What is the next one? Please. I will. Um very good use contraction i'll i'll have the shrimp curry what is the next one would you like exactly right would 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 you like noodles or rice with that mm. what is the next one anybody i'll Exactly right. Oh, this is piece of cake for you. I'll have rice. And would you like? Exactly right. Would and oh, I'm sorry, this is love letter. 
And um, would you like a salad too? No, thanks. Would, would you like? Exactly right. Would Would you like anything else? Yes. I yes. Would like. I'd. Very good. Yes. Si usted se fija, right? Solo en las respuestas ocupamos contraction. I'd like. I'll have. I'll have. But in questions, no contractions, right? Yes. And also, as I was telling you before, when I have the verb like, 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 I use would. Yes. But when I have the verb have, have, I use I'll. Yeah, I'll have. Yes. So it's like, yo voy a querer, right? See? Mm -hmm. Yo voy a comer. Yeah. Oh, this is like mariscada, right? From el puerto la libertad. That is expensive nowadays. Yeah, it's not cheaper anymore, right? And that's expensive. It's like $16. Jesus Christ. That's like two days of work. Okay. <laughs> expensive. Okay. Um, let's continue with another exercise in here. Uh, let me see. Here. Ah, look at this one. Tell me, please, Kathy, what is the name of this vegetable here? Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Okay. Very good. What is the name of this product here, Kathy? An ice cream. An ice cream. And what is this thing? Sushi. Sushi, right. Which one do you prefer, Kathy? Broccoli, ice cream, or sushi? Broccoli, but... Empanizado, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Well, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to say. Oh, it's like fry. Yes, because you oh, fry okay. this thing, right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like fry. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. How? Oh, man. Where where did you try that one? I never try uh, broccoli like that. Empanizado. Me At too. my house. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. mom. Oh, she does this yeah. thing? Jesus Christ. I never, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing that. Yes. I never try broccoli like that. Okay. Empanizado, like fried broccoli. That's unbelievable. I will find that, their, their recipe. And I have, if I if I have the chance, I will do it. Because that sounds delicious, but not nutritious, right? Okay. También el, el pollo con Coca-Cola. Oh, <laughs> it's new for me. <laughs> oh, your mom's? She's a really good cook, right? She's a yeah, really good cook because yeah. pollo with Coca-Cola, I just have a glass of Coca-Cola next to me and then I eat fried chicken. Yes, but... So, but this is uh, in the cocktail, you have the Coca-Cola. So it is in the dish, right? So it is in the dish. Yeah. Oh, very good. I never tried that. Yes, me estoy perdiendo de muchas cosas in this world, right? Yes. Before I die, I will try those. Thank you so much. Okay, so check the items that does not belong, does not belong in each group. For example, number one, we have apples, strawberries, and broccoli. So broccoli, mire, doesn't belong here, right? Because what are these? Apples and strawberries. What are these? Uh-huh. What's, what's, what's the category for these fruit. products? Fruit, fruit, exactly. So fruit. fruit. And broccoli is a? Vegetable. Vegetable. So vegetable. Very good. What about the number three? <laughs> what is something that... It's not, I'm sorry, in number two. Oops, I forgot number two. What is something in number two that is not? Sushi. 
sushi, very good, right? Sushi, because we have pasta and bread, very good. Number three. Ice cream. Ice cream, right? If you go to Starbucks, usually you have iced coffee and iced tea. And sometimes you have ice cream as well. Okay, <laughs> very good. What about number four? Pork. Pork, exactly, right? Mire, carnivores. Pork. Carnivores, right? Mire, carnivores, right? Yes, yes carnivores so that means we have corn and then we have green beans mm -hmm. oh my gosh what about number five bread 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 but but here i have i have like a disagreement because bread goes with chicken right we have panes con pollos here in this uh christmas so i think like <laughs> We can have bread with chicken, right? Yes, we have panes con pollos, right? Delicious. That thing is delicious, yeah? Right. But here, yes, Anna, Isela, that is correct. Bread is not here. Beef. What is this beef? What is the meaning of beef? What is beef? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Carne de res. Exactly. Right. Exactly, right. So it's un carne de res. Expensive nowadays, right? Yes, expensive, like ten dollars, maybe. Jesus Christ. What about the number six? What is in number six? What is something that does not belong here? A cookie. Ah, oh, look at that one, right? A cookie, right? We have turkey sandwich. Look at that one, El Pavito, right? Have you tried that one? Yes. From, I think it's El Pavito. That's the restaurant, I guess. That they sell this kind of turkey sandwich. That thing is delicious. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. You should try those one. Okay, and a hamburger. A hamburger is delicious, but not nutritious. Don't forget that, right? Yes. Like, what about hot dogs? Do you like hot dogs? Mm -hmm. No, you don't like choris? <laughs> like, like, like here in San Salvador, we have choris, yes? Oh, I mean, there is like a line, a big line of people waiting to have a chori, like here in San Salvador. And those things are expensive, like a dollar and 50 and 15 or like a dollar and 10 cents. And people are like in a line and waiting for a chori. Plus a soda, at the end, they spend like $5 with, in, in choris. Yeah, that's again, delicious, but, but, but not nutritious. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, question for you, let me see. Catherine Suleim Pocasangre. Tell me, teacher. Uh, what do you usually have for a breakfast, Catherine? Um, In my case, or? Oh, uh, yeah. You. What do you usually have for breakfast? Um, sometimes cereal or a uh, Typical food like beans, eggs. Do you have tortilla or bread with that one? Bread. Oh, okay. So you're from the city, right? If you're from the city, yeah. Because I am yeah. from El Cantón, right? So that's why I have tortillas early in the morning. Yeah, no bread. Because if, if I have bread, I eat like a dollar and I don't, <laughs> I don't get full. Yeah, so... uh. Okay, thank you so much. So you're from the city. Very good. What what about you, um, um, Sebastiana? What do you usually have for lunch? Mm, okay, for lunch, sometimes uh, a chicken soup or a beef soup. Oh, look at that one. And, yeah. and sometimes uh, meat with rice, salad. Oh, um, do you cook? Else. Do you cook that or you buy it? Uh, sometimes I cook. Oh, that's good. 
Thank you so much for sharing. What about you, Diana, Cristabel? What do you have for dinner? Ana, Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera, hello. Are you there? Yes. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to switch to somebody. Um, Kathy, tell me, Kathy, what do you usually have for dinner? Um, beans, but I don't know how to say liquid. Neither do I. I'm sorry. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> um, and fry a platanito. Oh, and plantains. Bread. Plantains. Plantain. Oh, very good. With cream, right? With cream. Yes. Oh, that's good. Right. Uh, tortilla or bread? Bread. Oh, so she's from the city as well. Okay, she's <laughs> from the city. I think we have... Uh... Oh, Jesus, it's time. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you so you. much for Good everything. Time.